Okay, so now you're looking at a problem where it says, please use, um, you know, this equation to complete an XY table, and you're probably starting to worry about how you do this. Um, if that's the case, let's just take a look at it uh, step by step. It's just like, you know, find the range. Well, we know what the range is. That's just another name for Y's or outputs. So they want you to give them this whole row of the table that they've not given you. And so it says, find the range of the relation. Well, another name of of relation uh, sometimes you know is, is going to be function so if they use function or relation don't worry about it it's the same thing okay it's that relationship between x and y and it's it's going to be um, wanting you to use the domain which another name for that is the x's or the the inputs and so when we look at this table we're going to use those x's the 0 the 1 and 52.5 to do this and then other times the, the directions may change where it's like um, saying please use like the the equation or the function rule given and and that equation or the function rule is the y equals 20x so really it's just plug your x's your domain into the equation uh, sometimes called the function rule and we're going to get the, the range or the y's okay so here we go. Here's our function rule, the equation, y equals 20x, and there's x equals 0. So where I see x in the equation, I want to make that x into a 0. And the x was multiplying 20, so 0 times 20 is 0. And now I know what my y is. My y is 0. So I'll write that down on my table. And then we come back and we do the same thing again. We take the 1, we plug it into the equation. Since it's multiplying, I multiply it. y equals 20. 52.5, this is great when we're using the equations because we can't use a table, or excuse me, enough table, we can't use a graph as easily, but we can easily do the multiplication. 20 times 52.5 is 1,050. And one last thing here, find the range of the function for the given domain. So range is wise, so that's what they want. The function, you could refer to it right there as that equation, the function rule. And um, sometimes they might change it up and say find the range of the relation given the domain using the function rule. So so sometimes they kind of flip up the directions like this, or then they start talking about that function rule like that. But basically, it's the exact same thing. Um, you need to go find your y's with the given x's. So take your equation and plug your x's in. So that x right there is multiplying negative 3, and our first uh, x is negative 3. So when it plugs in, it's negative 3 times negative 3. That would equal 9 and 9 plus 16 is 25. So plug your 25 into the table. I don't see the need of, of following this pattern. Um, basically, all you need to do, though, is to, to find out the y for this 2 is plug it in, multiply it, and add 16. Same thing for the 16 right here. Plug in the 16, multiply it, and then add 16, and, and you would get it.